It is finished. Jesus calls out as he hangs on the cross, his body nailed to wood, taking his last breath. It is finished. Maybe the whole mission project is done. It's dead. It's a failure. Or could it be that Jesus parts, the part that has him in Jerusalem, is now finished? The mission's not finished because there are still people who are poor and captives and oppressed. Mission is not finished because there is still a power struggle over the nature of good news. The mission is not finished because even though he's dying, Jesus promises that he will rise. And the mission's not finished because the cross will show itself again across the centuries and across the globe. What's finished is Jesus' part. And as he dies, Jesus hands it all off to his followers in Jerusalem. And Jesus hands it off to us, even today. The call is still. Receive God's grace, bring good news, proclaim God's love for all, and live out that love. And people respond to this call in different ways. Some are so disconcerted and uncomfortable that they reenact the crowd's response in Luke 4 by deciding to throw the messenger off a cliff. Some are indifferent, while others are grateful for a challenging call, for good news that becomes belovedness in action, where there is an expansive discipleship handed down from generation to generation. On February 22, 2019, we celebrated the 76th anniversary of the execution of a young German woman who was arrested by the Nazi regime for her participation in a passive resistance movement called the White Rose. Sophie Scholl was 21 when she was tried and sentenced to death. You probably know the more famous adult, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who was also executed by the Third Reich. The White Rose Movement was a small group of young adults, including Sophie's brother Hans, who were not swept up by the Nazi propaganda that dehumanized Jews and gays and gypsies and more. Sophie grew up in a Lutheran household that taught her about God, a God whose love was fierce and true, a love practiced at home, and a love called into the world. And so Sophie could not stand idly by when the lies of the Nazis hid the annihilation of the Jews and more. The White Rose Movement printed leaflets that were meant to wake up people to the principles and policies of the Third Reich. The leaflets were illegal. And the young resistors printed and distributed them throughout Germany. In February of 1943, Sophie was caught and turned over to the Third Reich after throwing leaflets off a balcony at the University of Munich, where she was a student of biology. After a brief trial, Sophie was sentenced to die by guillotine. Her last words before being beheaded were, how can we expect righteousness to prevail when there is hardly anyone willing to give themselves up to up individually to a righteous cause. Such a fine sunny day and I have to go. But what does my death matter if through us thousands of people are awakened and stirred into action? It is finished for Jesus, it is finished for Sophie, and it is not finished for us or our kin across the globe because the cross still shows up in ways that witness to racial inequities. It showed up in our country when black people were lynched, a public execution, sometimes Sunday after church. The lynching tree was the cross. And now the cross shows up at our southern border where brown children are separated from their brown parents and held in cages. The cages are the cross. Are we awake? Are we stirred to action? 
Praise God, there are woke Lutherans stirred to action. Lutherans who are organized and pressing principles and policies to move change towards racial equity. And there are Lutherans doing the mercy work until the change comes. Are those of us at a distance linked in loving solidarity? It is finished for Jesus, and it's not finished for us. Amen. Thank you.